Hello, this is APAD TV Admin from APAD.TV and we're going to test out the Logitech 365 wireless keyboard and mouse combo pack. Insert the Logitech USB uh, unified uh, transceiver for the mouse and wireless keyboard. The UG802 Plus then detects the device. After inserting the Logitech uh, wireless keyboard and mouse dongle, then switch on the keyboard. And switch on the mouse. mouse works fine. You got a mouse wheel, left and right button, middle button can be pressed down too. It's uh, the mouse functions perfectly. Now the keyboard's got a lot of functions on the keyboard as well as normal keys. So you you can press the function key and then you can go to home for example, which is where we are now. Okay, so if we go to apps, I can press down the function and go to home and it takes us straight back to home. And we've also got email, so you can press the function key, which is then F2, it's a function for email, and then you can choose your email client for opening your email. So the keyboard's fully functional with the UG802 Plus. Then you can have search, immediately brings up Google search. And then we've got music player, it will ask you which music player you want to use, and you can click the default, and then every time you play, press music player, it will uh, open up that music player for you. <clears throat> Let's come out of that. All right, then we've got uh, one of the most significant functions I think this keyboard brings to the, the UG802 Plus from Ibex is that you can turn the unit off and on. So if you hold down the function and F11, which is then the power, straight away the unit goes into sleep mode. But it's still, it's still using the USB because you can then press function again and you can power the device back on. And it will come, there we go, and it's back on it's pretty, pretty much straight away. Now I've not tested if this uh, turns off Wi-Fi and stuff like this, but normally most Android sleep modes for tablets, if, uh, if the unit goes into standby mode, this is, in fact, this, this is not just the screensaver coming on and that turning off Wi-Fi, this is, this is actually a standby mode. So normally, if you, if you shut a tablet down into standby, the Wi-Fi should actually close off. So I haven't, I haven't tested that yet, but I'm pretty much sure that's the case. Anyway, that, that's the, 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 the function keys for the, the Logitech keyboard with the function key to activate them. And then you've got some other buttons at the top. You've got a volume control, which is up and down. And this is, I'm pressing the keyboard now to do this. Oh, well, there's mute. And returns the volume to after pressing it again the, the volume will be returned to the previous setting and there's also play and forward track and reverse track right let's uh, check out some gaming on the UG802 plus we've got, we've got the plants vs zombies it's probably a little bit more suited to um, I mean, it's a pop cap game, so it's more suitable to a phone or a tablet. But um, let's see what it's got to offer. Running at uh, 1080p on a big TV. Oh, it's nice and smooth. Okay, so um, okay. adventure. There we go, put this house. Here come the zombies. And oh, we've got some extra grass now, so we've got a full playing field. Now in emergencies you can send the little lawn mowers out there, but what we need first is some sun, and the sunflowers bring more sun. Okay. Anyway, function's fine. Nothing wrong with it at all. Play's fine. Potatoes for the zombies to eat. Okay, so enough of that. Other games should we have a look at? Cut the rope, quite popular little puzzle game, very simple. 
and again it's it's Android so this particular game is probably more suitable to phones and tablets but all the same I mean it scales up beautifully now. Okay, couple box, let's go. Okay, more interesting levels. Okay, we've got to cut the rope and he's you basically gotta get the sweet into the frog's mouth and on the way you gotta click these and the bubble normally helps you do it. So I'm thinking we cut that one first. No, he's not allowed that yet. Oh, there we go. Oh, he's missed. I don't think I did that right. Oh, no. Didn't do that right at all. The same thing, I think. Scales up nicely. Quit straight out of that. There we go. So what else we got here? We've got glow hockey. A simple little game. All the games do seem to scale up pretty much perfectly. I mean, this one's a little bit stretched, but uh, I'll live in that. Like the fairground. A little bit tricky with this mouse. It's quite small. There we go. Seasons series. Okay, it scales up perfectly. Basically, 
See, this is a touch game. So where you normally let go of the touch is where the ball's going to let go of your hand. But now it's actually I can send the mouse straight there. There we go. Actually, a little bit easy with a mouse, a bit more playable. I mean, this type of game is really suitable if you're waiting at a bus stop, bored out of your mind. I mean, it's not maybe not something you play at home in your living room. Unless you want to compete with your friend or something, maybe. But I doubt. There we go. But it's super smooth, so you can see. 3D games like this can be easily, easily run on the UJ02 class, no problem at all. Um, let's try a bit of uh, a bit of browsing. Now, obviously, this is the BBC News app, so it's not it's not actual direct browsing, but I mean it, it works perfectly. And you think the date does? I mean, we're in China now, so this this date is coming all the way from from the UK. It's not bad. Okay. Let me come back out now. If we go to browse the web using the web browser, let's, uh, let's find that. Go back out to home, click on Google. Go Google.com defaults to, defaults to Google.com.hongkong. We don't want that. Test out the keyboard. I'm going to take the keyboard here and just delete. Just go to okay. Because the dot com will go to Hong Kong, so we want about to look at the news. So the Hong Kong Google does not have news, so we'll go to the UK version. You know, guys, it means it's it's just really, really smooth and perfect for web browsing on your TV at home. Just browse the news there. Okay now so if we if we just go back to Google itself don't do search anymore to turn up in the video. So let's just search for UG L2 plus. Oh written that one. And if we just do images, that's just loads in nice and quick there. That's great. Okay, well, let's just have a look at uh, Gadget Grace actually. We go to the website, and the browsing experience is just, it's just so fast. It's just like a like a, a nice new PC here running on your TV. And the website opens up pretty quick. Oh, that's because the date on the UJ02 I've not set correctly, so the certificate for the website is different, so because the certificate will be correct. And I'm on the China internet right now, so we can't access YouTube, so that's why we've got this web page not available because it's a YouTube video, because this is not going through a proxy right now. Okay. We can see the, the website functionality to look at pictures and stuff works fine, just like me. On a PC or an iPad and so on. In fact, you probably wouldn't get that on an iPad. Okay. Now let's uh, have a look at the Play Store and uh, see what we can download. Now, first we need to set the time though, because with the Play Store you need the correct time to be able to log in there. Otherwise, you get certificate problems because the dates are wrong. So, the first thing we'll do is go to date, time. Time. Okay, now it's obviously not 2000, so. Is it today's date? October. It's the 18th. Okay. Is it 
20th. It's the 20th. Okay. Okay, well that, that program doesn't work, so we can uninstall that app. That's just one I tested out. Okay, now so th the time is 1.15, so that's about right. And, uh, and this is try to play store. It's updating some previously installed games and apps from the Play Store now that Play Store's connecting. As we can see, it opens pretty much instantly. Okay, so let's go to games. Top three games. Now this is set to China region, and it's also the UGA02 set to like a, a test device on the device ID. Now when custom ROMs are released for this device, the the device ID can be changed to open up a whole new set of different uh, apps on the market for sp specific devices that are obviously tested to be compatible with the UJ02 Plus. And if there's a particular app that's only available in your region, you, you'd need to root the device. Most custom ROMs for this device will already be rooted, but you will need to, if you don't, if you're just running stock, you will need to root the device and then use a, an application called uh, Market Enabler which can be found on the market, the Play Store and that enables you to change your region and device ID. Uh, actually you can't do device ID, possibly the new version might, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Anyway, so you can just browse through and search and so on and the Play Store works pretty much perfectly. Just needs tweaking to everyone's individual tastes. Mm -hmm.